can't be a conspiracy if people are coming out outright and saying it to your face. You know what I mean? It's, it's no longer a conspiracy at that yep. point. They're letting you know, yo, we're about to mess you up. You know what I mean? We're, we're about to tear y'all up. Y'all ready? That's what. They, that's basically how they present it. Y'all ready? <laughs> yep. Whether you say hell yeah, no or not, yeah. they don't care. They do not care. It's just real. Hell yeah, bro. Shit is wild, man. Cause it's like, damn. Once you add all the, everything up and you and you piece everything together, man, you look at shit from that perspective. It's like, what the fuck is they really trying to do? What the fuck is really going on? They trying to plant. Hey, okay, grow seeds all year round, so they don't have to wait for certain parts of the year uh, for tomatoes to grow or or whatever. So they they have tomatoes all year round or oranges all year round and shit. What I'm trying to figure out, that idea come and play where they had to actually put harmful fucking chemicals on the shit. When did that come about? That's that what I need to know. Because, you know, a lot of this shit that they talk about with food industry, they say they have to do this. They have to do that. I believe it's all bullshit. I believe I believe it's all bullshit when they say shit like, uh, if, according to the population, basically, we're going to need we're going to need to have this many this many amounts of this and this many amount of this and we can only grow this amount at this time. I think that's foolish. That's some bullshit. And they just they're basically acting like that so that they can they, that can make them room to be doing the shit they're doing right now. That can give them room to do the shit under a, under a false under a false preset. You know I'm saying like they got an excuse the, now. The beginning of it started with with countries that had to have markets, right? Now. Yep. I'm not exactly a hundred percent up on how India and and, and countries that's a, uh, more so in in the Middle East. Now, I know Asia, Asia, they 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 plants and stuff can grow in in high abundance all year long, and definitely in certain parts of uh, Asia. But as far as like Europe and, and some Middle East countries where they don't have a lot of green land, right? Because all the places that we're from is, is a high amount of green land, you know? So in the places where there's not, they had markets, right? They had controlled food markets, right? People who sell certain things, certain parts of the year, yada, 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 right? And a lot of places yep. like Africa and America where fruits and vegetables can grow pretty much all year long. Maybe not every single fruit and vegetable, but a lot of times, you know, for the most part, it can Right. So yeah. if uh, if that's the case, you know, then when 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 a, a conqueror or a colonizer or whatever you want to call a person who starts to rule a land that isn't theirs, once, uh, you know, once once they come in, they want to control it. Right. Because it's like, yo, y'all, y'all staying here just eating as much as y'all want. You know what I mean? Drinking as much as y'all want. We, we need to control the water. Right? Why? It doesn't make sense yep. for us to, to live here in this country with all these rivers and lakes and things, but we're sitting here paying for water. Why? Why are you paying for something that comes naturally? Right? The, the, the people, the water companies companies don't provide you with water. <laughs> you know what I'll I'm tell saying? You why. I got a creek that runs by, by my house. Why, why would I have to pay for something that runs in the creek alongside of my house? Because they fucking it up. Chemicals and all of this shit. And they try to clean it up to give it to you so they're charging you to clean it up because they got to build the shit to clean it up exactly well but mm -hmm. but now now they got the now they got the water so fucked up though uh well they got the, the people so fucked up that because there's so much prescription pills with big pharma and shit now now in our regular water even our so-called clean water is fucked up because when they test the water the natural water they, they, they come in and find all these different hormones and things like that inside the water because as we piss and shit, it's going into our water supplies. You know and, what I'm saying? And, so, and so when know, it, what, what else is crazy? How mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to say like uh, lower class communities as far as the black community and, and just trailer parks and all that. They put them places in the places 
in like industrial places, like around a factory, a mill, a nuclear plant, like a couple miles away from it, knowing all them places disperse and disperse all kind of stuff that's toxic and unsanitary from people, and even build parks close by in, in, in the low income communities. And, and, right. And and, and 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 just to think about it in that aspect, it's crazy because. It, it wouldn't be going on if we were staying on the other side of town. You ain't got none of that shit going on over there, but you got all these factories, factories and everything, junkyards and everything. But but, it, but it's but it's not just the air pollution and the earth pollution. There's also noise pollution because if you think about it, poor people live around airports. My my myself, yeah. I live I live yes. near the airport of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? And we have noise pollution. And There's constantly true. airplanes going across it makes your heart race to hear these loud 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 sounds constantly you you had no state of peace you know what i mean you kind of got to find the peace somewhere sometimes the planes are so are so uh the, the the jet engines are so big and they're so low that it makes the glass in my house shake you know what i'm saying like that's that's yeah. outrageous but but they know exactly what they're doing you know what i mean when it, when they put us in these type of areas why you can't afford but so much yep. yeah poor people and, 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 white black asians thing. no matter what you live and another thing, it, I, don't, I don't know if y'all heard this, but they say it's something in the air and like our communities because because you got pollution, gas, smoke, and all that other stuff going on and flowing through our communities. You know, you they, they, you don't think it's like doing something to the to in chemicals infiltrating our brain and head and stuff, making us act the way we act. Hell yeah, them pin trip, bro. Uh, you know, this is something that I'm gonna start doing on my channel regularly now. You know, I'm, I'm gonna start posting it up. You know, but. The, the chemtrails in this area, man, they start early in the morning. Sometimes I'm, I'm outside at 6 o'clock in the morning, you know, and I get a chance to see the beginning of the chemtrails for that day. The motherfuckers, Damn. by the time it's, it's the afternoon, it just looks like it's a film of fog. You can't even tell that, you know, what color the sky is because it looks ashy. You know what I mean? The blue is it's got a slight, a real light gray. gray across it. I, know what a, I know what a clear sky looks like. And, that, and, and it's not because we have a cloudy day or a partly cloudy day. It's a chemtrail day. You know what I mean? It's, it's a it's a straight up fog day, and, and and I've seen videos of people testing the soil and the water in the area, and they're finding so many different chemicals, aluminum. And that's you just, know what aluminum you, does to the brain? Yeah. Now, now you remember a couple years back when all them uh, mosquitoes was getting real bad, the Zika virus, and they actually sprayed all them parasites and stuff. Like if they was to go over a farm, they sprayed Bro. them over city. Not, not, to cut you, not, not to cut you off, a, a truck a truck literally drives down the center of my street and sprays a fog out the back of the truck. Oh, down the, down the down down the center of my block. It doesn't it doesn't even hit what? the fucking grass. They go they go down the center of my street and they just spray it down the street. I, I make my kid come in every time. I'm like, yo, let's go in the house for a while. We need we need to wait, uh, uh, you know, at least a couple of hours before we can go back outside because they just sprayed uh, a harmful chemical. I used to work for an exterminator company. I, you know, I, I know a lot of the components that's inside of these and inside of these sprays, man, and they will get you sick and or de death. You know what I mean? And they, but they don't care. They spray it down the middle and they say that it's, it's legal and all that other shit. I, you know, I had I contacted the city. They say, you know, this is a day and they legal rights to do so. <coughs> you know what? That's some fuck on that damn show, American Horror Story. They put that shit on that show for a reason. Hollywood always coming out with some. Truth. I never knew that shit. I never knew that shit was going on. Yo, I, I never knew that shit was going same on. Same thing. I'm about. To, I was popping up the video. <laughs> oh, they I doing it. It's in the, yeah, the newest American Horror Story season. They doing yeah. that shit in the, on they, on they, the they show. Know. Yeah, and and the lady's like, "What is she doing?" Yep. Right. And yeah, I, I birds for, and shit, dying and shit. I work for was was called well, what they they said was, you know, every company gas shit had like, <laughs> they said they had the most uh uh natural chemicals being sprayed. Even with those natural chemicals being sprayed, you couldn't let it get on you. So so if something has all natural components to it found in nature, why why am I not allowed to let this shit get on my skin? You know what I mean? Why why is it harmful to me at the same time, you know? Now, now, but the, but yep. the, the the thing that I learned that is just is just it doesn't kill the bees. That's the only thing it doesn't do. This this natural component that they come up with it doesn't kill the bees, but it har it harms everything else. You know what I mean? It harms yep. everything Birds else. And they, and all. Right, and, and and the plants they get like a, a glossy film on them. 
You know what I mean? I pay attention to everything I do. You know what I mean? I, I seen it for myself. I'm like, man, this shit ain't right. You know what I mean? There's, there's natural plants that you can grow to keep bugs and mosquitoes and things like that out of your yard. You know, they don't they don't talk about those things because they, they're not looking for the most natural ways to repel uh, 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 parasites and things like that. Or what we consider parasites because everything everything has a, a key role truck, to play in nature. Like this, a truck just spraying gas, just going through the neighborhood, spraying gas in the middle of the night. You see that? That's, That's from American Horror Store. And hey, look, how many people again. we got on the panel right now? Yep. It's just, it's just it's us. Just yeah, us three. Yo, you like me? I swear yeah. I seen something else. Hold on, yeah, I gotta go in here. Fucking how many fuck people we got on the panel right now? Three. But that shit real though, man. But but you know, I I never knew they had trucks to go around spraying gas like that. That shit wow. Now I knew they was doing it from airplanes, but yo, but I can believe it though. Like I said, they they throwing stuff at you in plain sight, and you don't even know it's there. Like this shit. I saw that shit. On American, hell no. And they had the nerd to have Donald Trump in the damn TV show. Yeah, like they was talking about Trump on the show, like they had permission to do that shit. That shit was crazy. And, and, and he was playing a big part of the show. That's another thing that was crazy. Yeah, it was. It was all about. It was show. all about his election. Yep. So, so that shows you that that was a conspiracy within it, then itself. Now I'm about to pop up that video for you, man. <coughs> the uh, <coughs> my bad job. Oh, you all right, bro? You all right? I'm about to pop up the uh. The video right here where he was talking about the model. Let me uh, yeah. go back to it. Hey, so uh, what y'all know about horoscopes, though? Zodiac signs and shit. Oh, man. All I know is I'm a Virgo and and uh, and my Chinese symbol is a rabbit through my years. See, see, see the Chinese, they, they do it through uh, by years. And, and we do it yeah. by like dates of the month at certain times of the year. <laughs> All right, you see those shit like that? See, this is why I think astrology is real. Exactly. Well, I know astrology. I know astrology proves the shape of the earth. If you look at that right, it shows our stars system right there. Like, and it also shows that the dome doesn't end at the ice wall. Well, uh, one of them does. You see what I'm saying? Just one of them does, and there's another one on top of that one. And we don't know if it keeps on going. We don't know how far it stretches off. You know, like right. it, it, it could go as far yeah. as you and, and who's to say, you know, we were talking about dreams before, right? So what what if if your dream allows you to go past the ice wall itself? You know what I mean? If if you were in there. Yep so-called alternate reality it's not really an alternate reality it's just the reality that we haven't uh come face to face with in our conscious you know but your subconscious is able to to travel yep. to those distances right in our physical yep in our physical we come in contact with in our physical that's some real shit that. right there you gotta got sad Hold on, you're breaking up a little bit, bro. Yeah. Like, like, a lot of I mean, shit about right. about severance and all of that, you know. But um, looking at this right here, this really does explain what I believe our our could look like. You know, 
aside from everybody outside of the ice wall, they don't want us to know about that shit. So, hell yeah, they, they smart as fuck, and they got the whole shit on people. They got the whole on Imagine if they know that this right here is the truth, and they've been lying to everybody. Because you know how every day month yeah, your microphone still is filled. Up, man. You, you need to check your mic, bro. Courage, courageous. They move apart the whole world. Try, try to mute and unmute your mic, bro. Yeah, trigger your, your mic sound crazy. It's distorting. I can you hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? Hell uh, yeah. Like, all right. So, so, like, when we think about the zodiac signs, what we got to keep in mind is what other zodiac signs outside of our zodiac sign circle go on farther than we can even see right now or what if that is just the only set of stars that we can see what if those are the only set of stars that's in, in the cosmos period and all the outside stars they the, the start how they see stars is totally different from the way we see stars because they out they're not under the christmas tree they out they outside of the christmas tree you feel me yeah, 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 because because cause you see, just just like this little system of a cosmos, it, it, it could be more than one of them out there, you know? It could be yep. own little cosmos is like Earth doing their own natural yep. thing and, and their own natural existence. Now, what if we what if what if mankind does get does get well, what if they already got it for one? What if they do what if they do get the um capabilities? To actually go out and 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 discover those lower realms, um, out or those further out worlds, they do reach the edge of the damn world, and they do see the damn glass dust to touch it. And what if they look out that window? They see that that that, that scares the hell out of them. Like they realize that they can getting huge beyond measure. That they can see with their eyes, their naked eye. He's that is that big, and it created everything. And it realizes that we are living in a terrarium, and it took maybe three lifetimes just to just to navigate, just to navigate. It is probably take about, about three lifetimes just to travel from from the center plane to the outside. <clears throat> you feel me? Hell yeah! It it, it could be more. Because even like right. how you was talking about Amelia Earnhardt led uh the other night, where where how 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 she went and started flying so far of that ice, like she had to turn around the fuel because that that's how vast that ice wall lives. Yep. Yeah, bro, it's that vast, and I think at one point, if you keep going, it's a drop off point. It's a drop off point. Where you drop off at, and it's a whole nother motherfucking world out there. I think it's a whole nother world and, out and there. So and so so saying <clears throat> that saying that each well planet like Saturn and Mars and all them. So think about it like this: rotating like how the sun that. and the moon is doing in that area. They be rotating in they and they certain ring if or the world, area. If the world is shaped like that. We need to now where we need to now look at it like this. We don't have to worry. We don't have to question where the dinosaurs went. So, so, so you think they existed or they didn't exist? I think the dinosaurs still exist. Was a whole lot of that, shit that, happened that, at that, the that, top. That, this that's top why they make their movies journey to the center of the mm -hmm. earth because because if you ever look at their movies, okay, now I'm I'm just putting in a perspective with the wall. You you go past that wall and like you say it's a drop off and then you get there it's a foreign land with 
flowers and fruits and all kind of things you never yep. seen before. I and, think that's what the dinosaurs animals. migrated to. So you don't I believe think that's what? where the dinosaurs migrated to. So the whole meteorite story, what you think about that, then? Meteorites? Man, I don't believe in no damn meteorites. You know what I think meteorites are? Falls. And I think stars are actual celestial bodies. Celestial bodies that are put there specific reason. Each star is for a specific reason, personality. It, it serves as a function. Just like a computer has a code, each each star has a, has its own specific function. And I think upon every creation, plant, animal, cell, bacteria, whatever it is, it is governed by these celestial bodies. If it has life force in it, <clears throat> no matter what it is, it's governed by these celestial bodies, which we call stars, which are aligned. You know what I'm saying? In certain point, in certain parts, and people, you know that. To, to create figures, but that don't mean that those would that, that's what the real figure that they may they you know it's people on earth they 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 what they want to call them horoscopes they got little zodiac signs and shit now so basically that's categorizing what they already know that's being spoken from these stars. If you can read stars and you can tell a baby by the way is by the by where the baby is being born playing your platform <clears throat> where the baby's born in contrast to the sun and the moon if you understand all of that you can understand the personality of that child before that child even grows up to be three years old you can understand the whole the whole um entire scope of that life you can see what kind of what kind of obstacles is going to face you can understand it based off its birth is conceit is conceivement, which I which I believe that's how that's how you have things that's possible called prophets, you know, because God God says He watches everything. We just talked about time, you know. What I'm saying micro macro. So if so, five is like not even a millisecond to God. So shit. I think is when I think of stuff like that. <laughs> I hope's like that's actually the language of the system which is created by God. Yeah, that's the language. Thanks, that, uh, brothers. That's I, the code I, of life. I I gotta get off of here real quick because my phone got a charge and I uh I gotta finish cooking real quick. So I'm gonna try to hop back on soon. I just need to let my phone charge for a little bit. At least at least a good 20, 25 percent. All right. While I'm cooking, my bad. It's all good. Give it to him a little bit. <coughs> hey, this this is so, a good build, uh, man. We 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 did good so far, man. You still there, bro? Yeah, I'm still here. Hey, you talking about horoscopes and how they govern everything that got life in on on a plane? I should say. You know, we don't believe in planets, but. Planets, you know, that's another thing. They can say, they say, okay, um, planets do exist and things like that. I believe in both. I believe both. I believe in both. I believe in both. I believe in both. And you know the reason why I say that? You're breaking up real bad, bro. You're breaking up real bad. I don't know, know who uh, RFG chosen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see his videos. But hold on one minute, bro. You, you, you echoing real bad. I don't know what happened. Hold on one minute, all right? All right. Can y'all hear me now? All right. 